hold on to your hats, guys, because this is going to be a long one. We're going to cover a lot of topics, and it's all going to happen right now. So the big reveal is here for the tiny house, she shed, chicken coop, pole barn, all of it that we've been talking about. We're about to do several things because I want to show you guys a bunch of things here. I want to show you why we decided to put this chicken coop right in the center of our orchard and our garden. And I'm going to show you an example of exactly why. And the reason I want to show you this example is because it's so exciting to us. We've been working on this incorporating the chickens in our garden in for several years now. If you haven't been following her, go check out my wife's channel because that all ties in with this. She's been doing a video on chicken manure versus steer manure, which one works better. You can go watch all those videos from the beginning, but I'm going to show you in a second right now exactly what's going on with that in her little pallet garden and why we are tying all of this in with our garden. I want to tell you guys what it cost to build this thing because it wasn't cheap, but I'm going to tell you why we spent the money on this thing and we'll just get into all the details for you. Oh, and by the way, if you guys want to see the entire build of this structure, go back and click on the links. I'll have them in the description below. Part one, two, three, four, five of how I built this thing from scratch. All right, so I went in, we got Shelly. She's out here. Hi. Now she's seen part of this as we went, because I've had to ask her some opinion on what she wanted built. And this chicken coop was built to her specifications because she has gone through a lot over the last few years dealing with chickens in weird pens, makeshift pens that just haven't worked for her. And so this was just, a, this was a tribute to Shelly. This is her she shed and it's finally done. She's, she has not seen the final result on this thing. Are you ready to go see it? I am ready. I've been waiting. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. All right, Shell, it's time for the tour. Are you ready? Let's get you going on in there and showing let's everybody what it. we got. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna notice is it's dark in there. I don't have power in there yet. Wow. What do you think? Wow. You haven't seen this the, is amazing. You haven't seen the flooring yet, have you? No, I have not. Let's look at it. I think I'm gonna have you install new floors in our house now. I'm, ex <laughs> I'm excited about this, man. This thing is wow. nice. Yeah, we've got some money wrapped up in it, and we'll talk about that, but uh, what do you think, girls? Now the wow. girls are the ones that are always coming out, well not always, but they're the ones that do most of the egg collecting. So this was kind of, I built this, I had them come in here while I was building it and get the perfect height for them so they could reach in there while being able to store shavings under here. And we're going to get all that loaded under here in a minute, but what do you think girls? It's amazing. You like it? It's yeah. awesome. Good, because you've always been the big egg collector around here. You've been the one having to duck under all those little yeah. nest boxes and get in there and get dirty. And now yeah. you don't have to get dirty anymore. This is awesome, babe. Amazing. You like it? I love it. Good deal. Can I take a peek in here now? I suppose you can. All right. So this is the this is the barn side we're in right now where we've got all the uh, food store and everything wow. else. And this is the inside of the hen house. Look at this, you guys. It's amazing. This is amazing. Our chickens are going to be so lucky. There it is. Wow. We've got a couple windows in here. So we've got, we ended up deciding, so this is the side that the wind comes from over here. So we didn't want to open that up at all. So we wanted plenty of ventilation for them. So we've got, it's like a four foot by 16 inch window on this side, and then a four by 16 inch window on that side for the ventilation. We've got some uh, screen, half inch screen up there so animals can't get in, but uh, there it is. Wow. You like it? I love it. All right, so now we've seen the inside of this little hen house side. There's some wow. features in here that I've built into this just to make it really easy for Shelly and the kids because they're really the ones that manage all of these chickens. So. Shelly, you kind of saw this a little bit because I had to get your opinion on how we were going to do this to work better for you. But a part of keeping all this clean, because you come in here and what? You clean out like once a month? Or, like once every two weeks. Or every two yeah. weeks. So she's constantly cleaning out the shavings and everything. And I want it to be easy for her. We've never had a setup where it was easy. So show, show them kind of how we built this so that you can they can see what's going on here so to make it easy for me normally i would have my shovel scooping out all the poo and shavings so my husband made these perches removable 
So I can just move them up here. And then I can actually get in here up against the wall a lot easier. I mean, this is hands down way better than what I used to have. This is amazing. Now, so that was part of it, just being able to lift the purchase out. And that's a simple thing. And a lot of people might want to know, well, how far apart are they? These are about a foot apart from each other. And this is a foot from the wall here. And then we've got, I think it's like, oh, about eight foot long here, which is plenty enough room for uh, for the chickens that we have. And we're going to talk about all that because I want to kind of go into detail on this entire project for you guys. Um, you can see they both lift out of there. So you really need to get in there or we need to replace boards. Yeah. Um, but part of being able to make it easier for her to clean was this right here. Do you want to show them how this oh, little yeah. part works? Now she saw I was building. She didn't see this all done yet, but yeah. I kind of showed her in the middle of the building process. We've got these little latches here. So this one, hun, we got to push up against the chicken coop. Go ahead and get around the get around the corner so that they can see what's going on. There you go. You got to push up against and then open it. It kind of frees it up. Yeah, there nothing's you know. perfect. There we go. And then it just folds down. She's never been able to do this before. No. And then you can just scoop yep. everything right out. All the okay, shavings right that we put in there. And then go ahead and lift it back up and we can latch it. And we got a little yeah. perch for them to jump up to so they can get into the nest boxes really easily. But then the final really cool thing, you want to show this part? Yep. So There's a little latch here. What do you think? That work out good in the end? And this is perfect for my ladies come out of their hen house, nest box, get up here and do their perching at night. Gives them a little ramp. Allie laid down the next one right here. I put some yeah. heavy duty hinges on here so all this works out good. This is just, just a second, we'll show them here. So this one right here is a two by four. It just lifts up this way. It's kind of tight quarters in here, so it's hard to get it all, but all right, Emily, so you unlatch this one up here, and she's bringing it down. It's a two by six. Watch your fingers. With a big hinge, it just lays down right there. We can fit this little guy in here, and then they got a little ramp coming from down here by their door. They can go right up here and get up to their purchase here, or they can run along where the nest boxes are here and run up along that one. And then when mom comes in to clean all this out, we can just fold everything yep. up. They all latch up to the wall there. And that's it. Really quick and easy. Perfect. She can fold everything up and then get these out of the way. Boom. It's yeah. all really accessible and easy to clean. What do you think? It was all for you. Dude, it's amazing. Now I'm waiting for the new house to come. <laughs> <laughs> is, it a, is it the she shed you always wanted? Yes, I know absolutely. <laughs> I know These chickens are going to be so lucky, so lucky. I know it's for the chickens, but <laughs> it's your she shed. My she shed, yeah. What do you, what do you think, girls? You like it? Now you don't have to get dirty when it comes to taking out the eggs, huh? You can come into a completely clean chicken house where the chickens aren't at and you can just lift the nest boxes yeah. and pull the eggs out. You can come out here in your slippers. What do you think? It's awesome. All right, so let's talk about something for a sec. The reason that we built this thing right in the center of our orchard and our garden was because we want to use these chickens. They are our little workers. They do several things. One, they provide us with eggs all year round. Well, not as much in the winter, but we still do get some through the winter. And no, we don't put lights on them. Yes, we could, but we like to give the ladies a break. But the biggest thing is we've got a garden right out on this side of the chicken coop and we did actually did this several years ago and it worked out more fantastic than anything we've ever done in our vegetable garden. We had the best produce, the biggest heads of cauliflower, the biggest heads of broccoli, and I'll show you some clips of that garden here, but it, it turned out so fantastic that we've decided to do this from now on. The problem was we had to move those chickens out of their original coops. We haven't been able to do this for a couple of years now, but now starting next year, we're going to be able to garden on the same plot of land that the chickens spent the last fall and winter on. So I originally got this idea by driving by an old man's house that lives down the road from us and I'd watch him every year, year after year. He had a chicken coop with a run and then another area off to the side of that. And he would rotate those chickens between his garden area and the orchard area. And he had the most fantastic garden you guys have ever seen. And that's where we started this idea. So 
we've got our garden over here. It's going to, by the time we're done, I'm going to have to do some fencing. We're going to have to move some old fencing. We're going to have an area that's going to be about, I think it's like 54 or 60 foot or something like that, wide by about 60, 65 foot long. Actually, it might be like 70 foot long, but a big garden area. And here's the benefit. The chickens get rid of the weeds. They get rid of the weed seeds. They clean up and till the entire garden all winter long. They fertilize the ground and then you take them off and put them in another run area and then grow all your vegetables in the garden. Man, you guys have never seen such a beautiful crop and I'm going to show that to you right now with proof because Shelly's been making those videos. Let's go check it out because I'm so excited to see this. It verified everything we've been trying to do here. I know I'm yelling at you, but I'm getting excited because chicken manure is the way to go. All right, guys. So if you've been following her channel and the video she's been doing with this pallet garden, you're going to see exactly why I'm even more excited about our chicken coop. So Shelly, why don't you show us what you got here now? It's been like, what, a week or so since you posted that last video? Yep. So... I planted this about four and a half weeks ago, you guys. My experiment I was doing was these two front beds was steer manure. The two back beds were chicken manure. We've got our lettuce up front over here and our spinach up front over here and the same on the back. So my plan was I've always wondered what grows better, faster, tastes better. Well, we're starting to see at first the steer manure, as I was mentioning in my videos, it came up first, it was doing better. All of a sudden, it's kind of dying back a little and slowing down to where the chicken now is starting to just speed up, turn darker green, and it's just flourishing. Do I need to ask you which one's the chicken manure? <laughs> <laughs> the chicken manure, I know exactly. The chicken manure are the two in the back, you guys. Yeah, I didn't need to ask. No. You guys got that figured out just by listening to me and my <laughs> excitement. And so you know too, guys, these were all planted at the same depth, the same time, um, all with organic manure. And so they all had an equal star, and this is what we're getting. Isn't that crazy, man? Yeah. I am I am just so I cannot believe that. That steer manure versus chicken manure i can't believe the difference and i know chicken manure is high in nitrogen but i mean it, it's got to be high in just about everything else that it needs because these plants are thriving yeah. compared to these plants so both spinach both what they were from the same pack of seeds or same pack of seeds same everything same plant time depth watering that is just, just the manure what's the difference e even the lettuce it's not i mean they're it's noticeable you can see it right there yeah. but uh i'm just the spinach is definitely the most yeah. noticeable right there with the with that just that deep green and those huge plants there but that lettuce even that lettuce is yeah. bigger and healthier looking and i'm just blown away man the, the chickens are the answer guys they're the answers to all of this you making a wish mm -hmm. cool Some of you may be wondering why this area it's so it's actually it's five foot by 12 foot and the reason that we built it this small which it's actually i guess compared to some chicken coops isn't that small but is because the chickens really don't need a massive space in here we could fit 30 chickens in here and some of you may go no way mike but the real truth is if you've ever had chickens they don't spread out at night on a roost they all huddle together i've had big roosts i've had little roosts and in any of them they tighten up real close to each other to stay warm and that's what they're going to do in here and so you don't need a big space the bigger space you have the more you have to clean and that was the problem that we ran into when they were in the pole barn that we had up before which was 10 by what was it 10 by 12 area that we had them in and we were going through so many shavings now they're in a 5 by 12 area and they've got plenty of perch space they've got plenty of nest boxes and these guys are going to do great in here but the one thing that you really need to do is have a big run because if they've got a big run with plenty of green grass and plenty of things to eat and plenty of bugs they don't need a massive coop they really only spend their nights in the coop it's really small really 
easy, really manageable, and it's not gonna cost you a million bucks and a ton of time doing it. All right, you ready, Emily? Yeah. Do the honors. There it is. We got the heat lamp set up and all the little chicks nestling down in their new home. All right, so I know one of the things you guys are interested in is the pricing. How, what did I end up spending on this thing? And I've got all the receipts in there. We've saved it all, but I'll just tell you, it's right at about $3,500. Now wait, a lot of you may be saying, man, I could build one of these things for free with pallets. And you absolutely could, but it ain't a chicken coop like this. And here's the thing. This isn't just a chicken coop. This is a pole barn. It really is. It's a 12 by 12 structure with an inside pole barn store area where we can access nest boxes, we can store feed, we can put a brooder, we can just do everything on the clean side, and then we've got the hen house on the other side. You could put goats in there on the other side. You could do anything with it. It really is a pole barn, and there's a reason it costs $3,500. The other thing is I put the money into the structure because I knew I wanted this thing to last me until I was dead. So. <laughs> There's a, you know, $3,500 for a structure like this ain't a bad thing and it's just gonna add value to this place. All right, so that was it. That was the reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see future updates on what's going on with this little chicken coop, click on the link below in the description. It'll go right to my wife's channel. She is so excited about getting this thing going and taking care of her chickens in there. She loves her chickens. Anyway, she'll be filming more about that and what she does and how she cares for them and all that if you're interested. In the future, I'll be making videos on how we get these guys to actually till our garden up and rotating them around I need to get some fencing done out here first. That's the next project. But hopefully by next spring, we will be ready to get the garden going and have this fully operational. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along and see more fantastic farm and gardening videos. Have a fantastic week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.